Hey guys, what's happening? So I just picked this up on Amazon, and it's a glow plug igniter for an RC car. And I want to permanently attach it to my pump box right here. So I want to add some banana plugs to it. And use the power from the main batteries to power the glow plug. Now this does device that I actually have it normally, but it looks like there was provisions for it. Or something like, or either charging ports or glow plug igniter. And actually, I do have a, another Asuna pump box, which actually has a built-in igniter. Now, the difference between these two is that this one actually has a built-in voltage regulator. And that's actually what's critical here. Because if you don't have a voltage regulator, you're going to be sending whatever voltage you have coming out of your battery to your glow plug. And it's going to instantly burn out your glow plug. So you need a way to reduce the voltage down from whatever. This is, I'm guessing it's from like the 8 to 36 volts. We'll test it with my, my power supply here. But <clears throat> this actually off the one actually has the circuitry behind here that does the exact same thing. So there's actually a, a PCB or a circuit board in there that actually has a voltage regulator. So it takes whatever's, whatever output the battery is, it will step it down to 1.2 volt. So, so if you saw this one on uh, Amazon and you were thinking about doing this, make sure you get the one with the voltage regulator because they sell a couple different kinds. They sell a kind like this, without it, which will burn out your glow plug, and then sell this kind. So I'm going to do a quick test to make sure it's actually working. All right, so these are sometimes referred to as uh, buck converters. So if you can see my power supply, I'm going to get this in the frame so you can see that. So right now I'm putting out 14.1 volt. I'm going to hook this up. As we can see, we're getting power, and I want to verify that we're actually getting 14.1 volt at the input. Okay, Let's check it out. All right, and we're getting 14. It's not exact. All right, so let's check out the output side of this. And this should be somewhere over, about over 1 volt, see, 1.2 volt. So that's actually what you want. So now let's change the voltage. I'm going to step this up to 20 volt. And we're going to verify that it actually is still 1.2 volt output. Anything more than that, it's going to pretty much, it's going to burn out the glow plug. Alright, looks like it's working. So bring it up to a little bit more. Say 24 volt. Same thing, 1.2 volt. So that's actually what you need if you're going to be doing like a permanent glow plug. Alright, so I'm going to get the uh, banana plugs in. I'm actually going to convert this over to banana plugs. So I bought some additional leads. So I'm going to convert that over to banana plug. And I'm also going to add some uh, shrink wrap. Make it all nice and clean. Alright, there it is. Tighten that down. I tighten in the uh, negative ground to the motor here. Uh, positive comes on the switch side, so when I turn it on, light comes on. And I shrink wrap all the wires just to kind of keep them more uh, with abrasion resistant resistant uh, shrink wrap. Let's do a quick uh, glow plug test. We'll see what's up. Let's give this a shot. Cool. Alright, awesome. One less thing to grab now, just integrated box, igniter, bump box, cool.